Well, no matter what I say about this movie, there's one thing you can't take away from it. God damn, that is a great poster. Seriously, this is one of my favorite movie posters of the year. This is better than most of the posters for wide-release blockbusters I've seen in the past years. The Pizzagate Massacre is a satirical dark comedy about a no-nonsense reporter seeking the truth who teams up with a militia member to stop an underground sex trafficking ring possibly run by lizard people. There's a lot of respect I have for the movie. Apparently, the budget for it was in the low five figures, and damn, writer, director, and co-star John Valley did a great job with this budget. The movie looks good. With the cinematography, the quality, and the musical score, you can tell he put a lot of work into the planning and storyboarding to really get the most out of the limited budget. Seriously, there's a gunshot to the head scene that looks phenomenally better than recent movies with millions of dollars. Honestly, this movie wasn't that bad. I like that it's a satire that is written totally straight as a conspiracy theory thriller. You've got our lead, named Karen Black, who is written like she's out of all the president's men, while saying lines like, We need to stop the sodomite lizard people. Then she teams up with Militia Man Duncan, who is introduced in this action scene where he goes all John Rambo in a paintball tournament. Oh, and another nice touch, Duncan is the son of David Koresh of the Branch Davidians. There are funny bits, like an election going on, to see who is going to be the next leader of the militia, but then one is questioning the other's extreme rhetoric. Then they have arguments like, how are they sodomites if they're lizard people? Oh, I don't know, they probably use their tails or something. Don't be a pervert. Sure, some of the acting is a little uneven, there's some wooden performances in it, and some do act like they're in a comedy sketch. But this is kind of made up by the fact that it's shot and scored not like a comedy, but like a thriller. There's actors here who are committed to acting like they're in a newsroom thriller like Network. Hell, the movie even has an ending text like you'd see in a true story Oscar bait movie. It was fun not knowing exactly where the movie was going, and how the third act is like a conspiracy theory take on the howling finale, only with a lone gunman and someone screaming, THE LIZARD PEOPLE ARE REAL! While they do a phenomenal job with their budget, you can see some limitations, like a shootout in a pizzeria that just cuts to black and we hear gunshot sounds and it says three minutes later. Though, again, they do make up for that with a funny gag where a guy runs out with about 12 knives sticking through him. And there is a good shootout they do show later on with the militia men, where again, there's very good practical effects. I'll give the movie a B. It's not a great film, but it was entertaining and impressive with what they had to work with, and I'd love to see what the movie's director, John Valley, could do with an even bigger budget. Don't forget to subscribe to us today and click the notification bell, and we got reviews coming up for The COVID Killer and Pups Alone. See you next time.